Well, good morning. Welcome to the very first Open Search Con Europe. Yes. Yes, it's great to see everybody. It's great to see everybody here today. Thanks for coming. Really appreciate you all being here. For those that don't know me, my name is Daryl Swagger, and I'm the Dev Relations Leader for the Open Search Project. I joined the movement a couple of years back, and this community is why I'm still here and still trying hard every day. I'm looking forward to meeting each and every one of you in the next two days. But now I'd like to ask you all a question. How did you get here? No, I don't mean what type of transportation did you use, DB. <laughs> Planes, trains, and automobiles, that's the boring part, right? My question is more complex than that. At this point in time in your life and career, what brings you to Cafe Moscow today to talk about open search and search technology? Since a person's life and career is made up of many small moments, there are likely as many answers to that question as there are people in this room. But there is a common thread to this question. All of us are on a journey to make sense of the mountains of data standing in front of us. My journey to open SearchCon Europe started in 2003 with, uh, yes, that's right, Lucene 2.0, uh, first released in the middle of 1999, before it was even a top-level Apache project. I was the community manager at VMware at the time, and we just installed Jive forum software in our environment. And uh, back then, uh, it was a two da, web 2.0 database-driven forum application. And Jive was powered then with a Postgres DB and a Lucene search engine on the back end. Uh, the developers had done a pretty good job of installing the search tools in the admin interface, so it wasn't all that hard to use. A lot of tuning was needed with Lucene 2.0, though, in production to get the right search results up on screen. After about five months of working with Lucene and tuning our search results, I drastically improved our forum search results and by accident found out something else. Most of the forum data tables were already being ingested by Lucene and creating and writing new data tables was possible. This caused me to ask the developers at Jive for a customization, a rewards program based on actual user activity in the forums. This rewards program added some data tables to support a points earning system. It was directly related to actions a user took. Post a new thread, get a point. Uh, post an answer to an existing question, get two points. Post a correct answer, air quotes, get six points. That kind of a thing. Oh, and get 50 points over any period of time and redeem your free VMware t-shirt. That's what we did. We released these changes in late 2003 in what I think is one of the first examples of gamification on the internet. But this reward system powered a lot of data-driven decisions about our community. We knew who the power users were, knew why they were participating, and we built more and more programs to attract those type of people. I literally wouldn't have been able to do it without Lucene 2.0, warts and all. Jive ma maintained this rewards program for years and made it a core part of their project, uh, pr product. And some of the pieces of the original specification are still in their products today. Just about every consumer brand on earth has some sort of loyalty and rewards program now. And the design really hasn't changed all that much. Four organizations down the line, I got the opportunity to work for Open Search. I credit Lucene for giving me the technology background to end up here. Thanks, Lucene. That's just about enough for my time up here, though. We've got a lot of speakers lined up today. Today, we have a packed schedule. Uh, we'll start up with sessions on this stage in about 10 minutes. Um, for our partners, we have a partner roundtable downstairs and just off the partner hall, um, and that starts right after this is over. Um, we'll also, at 3.15, right here in this room, we'll start an unconference. If you didn't get to score a speaking slot, there's your chance to write your speaking uh, slot on a card and have the community vote on it. 
Uh, and don't forget to visit our partner exhibitor tables. I saw a bunch of people down there this morning and uh, find out what our partners are doing with OpenSearch. Um, after this day's events are over, we'll have a welcome reception at 515. Uh, tomorrow, don't miss the keynote at 10 a.m. where our general manager, Mukul Karnik, and Harry Haran from SAP are going to be talking about search and community. Following, we'll have sessions all day in this room and the uh, Asgabot room downstairs uh, prior to closing the show at the end of the day tomorrow. And remember, take some time out to ask people how they got here. It's a great conversation story uh, starter, and everybody has a story to tell. Thanks, that's all my time.